Puck Talk on this Thursday morning with Ben and Donnie recapping game number one of the Eastern Conference Finals last night inside the world's most famous arena. That's Madison Square Garden, the place the New York Rangers call home, but not so much home cooking inside MSG last night. Donnie, for game number one mm. of a conference finals, we saw an even pick them on the money line. Minus 110 for the Panthers. Minus 110 for the Rangers. A total at five and a half. That stays under, and the Panthers pounce and cash that slight money line price with a 3 nothing victory in New York, blanking the Rangers and taking a 1-0 series advantage to begin the Eastern Conference Finals. And I, I can't say it was a surprise, but the surprise was the way the final score ended up three to nothing here because the New York Rangers, you know, watching some of these highlights going through and how long ago it's been since the New York Rangers got shut out, particularly in the playoffs, that was eye-opening because we know how good a goalie Shesterkin is, and that's not really his fault. You're playing a good Florida Panthers team, but the question was, Hey, look at this. Second straight series, we take a look at the New York Rangers being the underdog here. And you saw the last series, they handled their business right out of the gate. So you probably expected yeah. Madison Square Garden to be rocking in the same type of thing. Hey, Rangers get out of town, maybe a 2-0 series lead before you even get back to Florida. But Florida goes in there, and that wasn't a fluke performance either, Ben. That wasn't like, hey, bad call late in the game, 1-0, and uh, the Florida Panthers escaped. That was a dominant performance by the Panthers, who, again, not unexpected to win a game, but coming into Madison Square Garden, game number one, and really taking down the Rangers, that was surprising yeah. to me. The first four games of the Rangers' second round set against the Hurricanes decided by just a single goal, two of them going to OT. The final three for Florida against Boston decided by just a single goal. Maybe we expected a little bit more competitive, as we saw with those money line prices. Not the case in the opening game of the Eastern Conference Finals in the Stanley Cup postseason. Matthew Kachuk and Carter Verhage, each a goal and an assist last night to lead the way for Florida. You want your superstars stepping up on the most significant of stages. That's what happened for the Panthers last night inside MSG. And the man known as Bob, Sergei Bobrovsky, was fantastic last night in net. Faced 23 shots, made 23 saves, a complete clean sheet for Florida. The Panthers were about a dollar and a half favorite, minus 146 in the series outright price to win the East and advance to their second consecutive cup final. And now with taking game number one inside the garden, that number has ballooned greater than a $3 price, minus 310 DRS for the Panthers to win the Eastern Conference crown. Yeah, that's crazy. Now, now, granted, we know how good Florida is, I understand. To go on the road and take home ice, that is a big deal. But we're getting priced out of the market like the Rangers have no chance to get up on the carpet as if yeah. they snuck into the playoffs as the eighth seed and nobody thought they would get there. It's the President's Trophy winning team. Most points in the regular season here have played fantastic hockey through the first couple rounds of the playoffs. They lose one game at home, and we're writing them off. And sometimes it is the optics. Hey, look at that. The Florida Panthers easily handled their business against the Rangers. We're not counting them out. The same way you take a look at the Minnesota Timberwolves. Nobody's counting them out. You even this series up at one before you go to Florida. You're right back in this. And I expect sure. that's what's going to happen with the Rangers. But that price point, that's a little crazy for me to take a favorite at minus $3 or higher. Yeah, it does seem like a very drastic swing in those series mm -hmm. odds. Being the President's Trophy winner has not exactly boded well for a team to get to the Cup Final, but still, the Rangers have the opportunity to do just that. Even if they don't end up winning the Eastern Conference, they still are not going to get swept, at least in my estimation. Florida tomorrow night, once again in MSG, a slight favorite now, minus 111 on the money line, minus 108 on the other side for the blue shirts you saw the games that we expect six games would be back in sunrise that's a two to one price for the panthers as we show those odds right there game number one of the western conference finals tonight in dallas it's the stars and the oilers where dallas is a home ice favorite at minus 128 what do you expect in the western conference finals Goals, 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 people. Take a look at that. Like last night, you saw three to nothing here. We're expecting a defensive series between the Rangers and Florida. We're not expecting that with Edmonton and Dallas. A clash of styles. The East, more defensive. The West, more open here. And I love this. The Edmonton Oilers as a dog price on the ice tonight. Come on now, Edmonton. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Listen. 
That is Donnie's team. Connor McDavid to record a point, just a point that's a goal or an assist in every game in this series, plus 235. Yeah, change my name at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, change my name at the bottom of the screen. Donnie Dreisaitl should come up next here. Like, we should let this run out. Like, the playoff beard, I'm not going to grow a beard because it's too itchy. Just change my name to Dreisaitl until the Edmonton Oilers are knocked out. How about that?